This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2011 Ford F-250 Crew Cab. Short bed. It's a 6.7 Power Stroke Diesel. 4x4. It's an XLT, which is cloth. Um, has 113,000 miles. Um, it was a dealer trade-in in Phoenix that we purchased. And, I'm, Phoenix? Dallas, I'm sorry. It's from Dallas. Um... It has 113,000 miles. It has a sticker on the window that says next oil change is due at 116. So uh, it has an excellent Carfax after our inspection. Excellent Carfax. What did we do to it? We had to put a new DPF pump, new DPF sending unit, new passenger door handle and bed liner. Previous owner maintained it well, uh, which we can tell from the way it runs and from the Carfax, uh, which we will show you in a second. Anyway, we... Uh, <clears throat> purchased this vehicle brought it to Tucson and like it a lot uh, cosmetically it's got a few issues someone tried to buff something off of the passenger side didn't do a very good job of it all we did with this truck is we're trying to keep the price down is took it to a car wash gave them like 50 bucks to give it a serious car wash versus you know buffing it in the whole bit at detail for $200 um, we figure people are buying this truck for the power plant and for how it performs, not for how it looks. It's still a good looking truck, but it's got a nice set of BFGs on it too. Um, the tailgate has definitely been painted. Um, it has an aftermarket backup camera that works and navigation. See, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got like, someone tried to buff something out on this thing, on the passenger doors. It probably would buff out, but we don't want to spend the uh, extra $150 to find out, so we're not going to. Um, we figure, if you can see that or not, this is an HD camera, but uh, it's a good looking truck still, but you know, probably 90% of that would buff out, and we're probably stupid for not doing it. But my job in these videos isn't to tell you what you want to hear, it's to show you and uh show you what we have what's really in front of us right now and not to guess and so the video and the picture photo gallery and what i'm telling you trumps uh any dreaming because the uh, pictures and videos tell the story right in a second i'll show you the carfax and the kelly blue book i'll go into the hood i'll show you i'll take you on a drive um everything that we know you will know so this has definitely been painted, this tailgate, which is not unusual for, you know, diesel trucks. I mean, they hammer the tailgates. <coughs> this paint is very poor on this tailgate. Um, not good at all. Fish eyed, all kind. It's just a mess. Uh, you can buy a Luber tailgate for <coughs> probably, well, I'm not, I know what how much for. You buy a Luber tailgate for eh, $189 at carid.com, C A R I D.com, and make that go away. There's your little backup camera right there. Um, if you wanted to, I don't know if you care enough. Uh, again, this part of what we do is we tell you what's going on. Uh, this truck's strength is its mechanics and a great set of BFGs, and the interior is nice. Um, exterior wise, a buff would help a lot, but uh, we're not selling the buff, we're selling the truck. 113,019 miles on the truck. Da, da, da. Boom, built tough. There you go. All right. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. Everything's original under the hood. Boom. For some reason, someone had taken the handle out here, so we had to replace the handle. I'm not really sure what the point of that was, but we did replace the handle.
These are not leather seats, by the way, they're vinyl. It's an XLT with vinyl seats and carpet. So this is probably special order. There's all the manuals for it. Probably the big boss man in Dallas wanted a truck that was a little different. Let's see if I can get this seat up here. Had a little more luxury with carpet, but would take a little more beating with uh, vinyl seats, which is true. All right, as promised, here's the Kelly Blue Book on the truck. 2011 with an eight foot long bed XLT, 112,990 miles, basically 113. Typical listing price would be 27,935. Really low miles on this motor. I just drove a 150,000 mile one that felt like it was brand new. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, 2011 Carfax. There's the VIN. They say that uh, based on the information, uh, that they have and they blend it with the Car uh, Kelly B Blue Book. Carfax says its value is $25,950, basically $26,000. Okay. <clears throat> no accidents, no damage reported. Carfax, I did this 524 of 19. Bum, 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 bum. At 25855 in 2013, it was sold as a uh, Ford certified pre-owned vehicle. So it was pretty much like brand new when it had 26. So that's kind of helpful to know that you almost started at zero on that day. Ba, 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 ba. Last service was at 111834 Battery replaced, battery service, cooling system serviced. About a thousand miles later, they traded it in. All right. So here's the title. Here's the VIN from Granbury Nissan. It's issued to them, 510 of 19. And they signed it over to, here's the VIN, to Wheel Kinetics. Uh, and 510 of 19. Okay. Granbury Nissan to Wheel Kinetics, 510 of 19 with 112,990 miles, okay? So now you've seen the paperwork for the truck. Put that up front, all right. <coughs> oh, yikes, missed a door. All right. Seats are in good shape. Ba, 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 ba. Do all these door jams so you can see if there's any rust. Um, it's kind of important, so I do it. There's the bin, there's the tire sticker. Interesting, <laughs> XLT with vinyl seats <coughs> and power seat on the driver's side. See the power seat switch? Definitely the big boss man. There's the telescoping mirrors, in and out. They work both ways. Mirror out, in, down, up, other side, out, in, up and down door locks okay seat forward let me go all the way forward here and back and up and down it's also got adjustable pedals which is unusual in an xlt which is cool up and down Tilt wheel, not unusual in an XLT. So it's got some added on stuff that's usually not in an XLT. Either he was the big boss man and this was his sight vehicle, or he was a little cheapskate and wanted 
more truck for the bank, more bang for the buck, I should say. All right, so there's your gauge detail, there's your compass. I'm doing that right here, right? Boom, down one, fuel economy, truck apps, those are kind of cool, off-road, a trailer. Down, settings, driver assist, language, information, blah, blah, blah. This is a good one. Let's put it up here. Boom, there you go. Uh, let's see. Drive on. Radio, works fine. Um, what else? It's got navigation, let me see. Where we go? Navigation. Oh. Let's see if I can turn that down. Accept. Show map. Here we go. We're on Gardner Lane. That's in Tucson, Arizona. All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, air. Air is blowing ice cold, which is important because it's kind of warm. Turn that down a little bit so you can hear me. Uh, what else? Do -do -do. It's got sink over here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Locking diff right there. See where it's, that went on there. And then it went off because I'm doing that, right? Boom, on and off, right? All right, and then let's see, tow haul right there, on and off. I'm going to put it in neutral. I'm going to go to the floor shifter here and I'm going to go all the way back to four low. Advanced track is off. I'm in four low. I like having a manual floor shifter too. Way more reassuring. That's in drive, four low, in reverse and four low, and it does have that backup camera. There it is. Okay. Neutral. Now we're gonna go to four high, which is right there. Advanced track comes back on. We're in four high. Drive. Oh yeah, a little quicker now. And reverse. God, I love the six seven now. I'm spoiled. I like these things a lot. And here comes my excursion. That's my next video. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, I need to put it back. I'm sorry, I need to put it back into two-wheel drive. I don't have a dash shifter. I have a floor shifter, which is actually better. All right, we're back in two-wheel drive. All right, if you come to Tucson and drive at home, this is what will happen. Uh, you will have a nice truck to drive home with great tires that runs great. Oh, by the way, there's the uh, sticker from the uh, dealer. Uh, next oil change is due at 116-834, July of 2019 which would tell you that it's been serviced. All right, if you come to Tucson and drive it home, you will pay the following. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, it could be zero, it could be 10%, whatever it is, um, plus our city of 2.7%, um, and then a $250 dock fee. That's what'll happen if you pay, if you pay in person and drive it home. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it, no, no, uh, uh, dock fee, no taxes, nothing. Once received full payment by wire, we will fill out the title, sign it off to you, uh, fill it in with your name, your company's name and address, scan it into your online file so you'll be able to see that immediately, and then we'll mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in. You'll have the vehicle shipped to you. The title almost always beats the truck. So when the truck shows up, you'll take the title you already have in the mail and uh, go to motor vehicles in your town and get it plates. Very simple. <coughs> um, Deposit. Once we have an agreed upon price, um, we have a deal. Once we have uh, the agreed upon price, you put your deposit in, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com and everyone will know that it's sold. Until then, it will stay for sale. Okay, so make sure you get the deposit in. Um, the navigation's working fine. This thing runs great. God, I like these six sevens. Um, no wonder they're so expensive because they're great. Um, Anyway, uh, last part of the video. Every video is the same. If you look at the thousands that I've done, go to the last couple minutes, I'll say the same thing. Uh, we don't have salesmen, which is awesome because we don't have to pay them and they're, not, and they're so annoying, I don't want them around. Uh, we don't have latte machines. We don't have scones. We don't have a lounge to kick it in and watch TV all day. Uh, you know, We don't have bottled water with our name on it. Uh, all that stuff adds to the price of a vehicle. We don't have any of that like everyone else does, okay? We also don't have to pay the rent of a brick and mortar. We're off the beaten path, so we don't have that bill, okay? So that money comes off the price of the vehicle. All that stuff comes off the price of the vehicle. Also, everyone else includes future repairs in the uh, price of the vehicles. We don't. Why? Because we are not fixing your truck. On day one, you're the owner. 
Uh, we give you all this information, the video, 100% uh, blunt truth, uh, documentation of blunt truth, uh, photographs, zoom in capability, so you can make a good decision. Uh, at the end of the day, we are not Nostradamus. We do not know when this truck is going to break. If we did, I would never buy a truck that breaks a week after we buy one, all right? But I do, and then we have to fix them until they get online. If this truck breaks, when you get it, regardless of when, you will be fixing it with your money. Uh, it's nothing personal, but we are definitely underselling this vehicle price-wise. So uh, the money you're saving may have to go into a repair, sooner or later eventually everything everything will break okay um so that's how we operate let me beep the horn and maybe somebody will let me in uh, that's how we operate we want to make sure we're always up front with people this is a great running truck i haven't run into a bad six seven since we started buying them about a year ago they're unbelievable love six sevens they are just <laughs> beyond dependable anyway i think that's it thank you for your time